Okay guys, so this is without a doubt the most important battle that I'll ever post. It is two years ago I went in to challenge Skyla in Blaze Black with a Gold Duck named Penguin, a Jump Bluff named Failure, and a Drift Loom named Goodyear. That is that is a cat that was sitting in my lap, by the way. And with just those three Pokemon, I managed to get down to her final two po <laughs> How do you fall off someone's lap? What is wrong with you? Are you that bad? Oh god, I'm sorry, don't mock me! How do you... I'm just saying, you're sitting there and you fell off. That is really pathetic. I'm just... Stupid cat. <laughs> with those just those three Pokemon, I managed to get down to her final two Pokemon. She loves to spam Brave Bird. But today, we are getting our revenge. I am getting my revenge with this awesome team. You guys can already see the sidebars, so there's really no need to take a look at them. Because I just want to get through this place as fast as possible. Get the Skyla and have the rematch of the century. It is... I've been building towards this for so long now. Ever since this series started, I've been building up towards this fight. We managed to beat Clay. We managed to avenge ourselves and destroy N. For the past two videos, it's been the road to Skyla. And today, we finally take her on and we will get redemption. If it's the last thing I ever do, I will beat Skyla. But I need to come up with a strategy first to make sure I don't mess it up. So... I haven't actually done that yet. Um, I know it is a triple battle, and by the way, a lot of people are like, oh, you should do it. Oh, that's right, I, I forgot to turn off move animations. I will do that after this battle. I will not forget this time, maybe. Um, a lot of you guys were trying to be helpful and telling me that I have to be careful because um, her Braviary knows superpower. Well, once again, you guys are wrong. This is the same way how uh, we thought that her, um, Clay's big giant hippo dude had... Um, Ice Fang, and in fact it didn't. Braviary does not have superpowers, so I suppose that that's a good thing. You know, I should be I should be happy about that. Um, superpower is definitely going to be really helpful because now I don't have to worry as much about about the big rock dude. I should know his name. I really should. Um, Tyranitar. I can feel a little more comfortable setting up with Tyranitar now that I know that um, it'll be safe, relatively safe, to do so. Um, which, it takes a lot of stress off this. I was really kind of paranoid about that. Like, oh crap, this thing's just gonna come in, it's... It, I didn't save, did I? This thing's just gonna come in, it's just gonna, like, ruin my day and make this battle, like, practically impossible. But, why do I have a feeling I'm gonna have to end up battling you? I just... I, I get that vibe from you that I'm just... Why did we come over here if we're just gonna be shooting back over there? This place confuses me. I don't remember how to get... Well, I somewhat like 47% remember how to get through here, which is, which is good enough in my book, you know, I, I I think that's pretty good statistically wise, so I think I can do a pretty good job, but I'm trying to spread out the EXP as much as I can, I decided to go 55 because I believe our highest are 56, and I figured after taking on these, I actually remembered about the gym trainers for once, so I was quite proud of myself, but um, you, wait, did you use gravity and that's not a good sign. To be fair, if I wouldn't went for Ice Beam or Thunderbolt, it would have killed, so I guess I can't really complain that much. I did go for the weaker move of the two, or the three, because, you know, sometimes it's just fun being stupid. And I enjoy being stupid sometimes, as I've often done in my Let's Plays. You guys are very, are very aware that I, I can be rather not the smartest at... I'm not gonna EV train, you guys. You, you can't make me EV train. I'm, I'm not gonna do it. No. Okay, if I would have EV trained, it wouldn't have mattered. It just would have lived with like one less HP than it already had right there. And it just it wouldn't have made a big difference. So you just stop typing what you're typing right now because I know you're typing about something in this and I know you just you just stop. Okay? No, I'm I'm not doing it. I'm not EV training my Pokemon, so just accept that. It's it's just it's not that look how little that night slash did. Sure, we may resist night slash, but but still, oh my god, Shelly's such a tank. Um, do we not have Sandstream? What is our ability? Now I'm... Now I'm kind of paranoid about that. I don't know what our ability is. But you have two Pokemon who are quad weak to rock. Um, I realize... Okay, so I'm starting to think of my strategy. I was going to say using Discharge would be really good. But then I just realized Discharge hits everybody on the field. Including my team. 
that's not good. I don't, I don't want it to hit everyone on my team. So, I mean, if I have Mamo Swine out and someone who resists Electric, then I guess that makes it a lot better. But the thing about that is, is I don't know if I have anybody else that... I think Metagross doesn't resist Electric. Tyranitar doesn't resist Electric. Um, Porygon, I don't really want to risk take, like doing it on Porygon and risking the um, Paralysis because... I don't want any status conditions on my team, so that really sucks, because Discharge was, like, in my head, I'm like, oh man, I could just put for, uh, Fris Freebie in the middle and just, like, discharge everything and just, like, laugh as I sweep through Skyla. Sort of thing, well, except for her, uh, Glyscore is going to be an obvious problem, but, well, we'll cover that problem when we get to it. But now I'm, I'm starting to realize, you know, Discharge may not be the best thing. Um... Yeah, wow, I just, I'm like just starting to like put together how little that I can't, I basically can't use, um, Discharge. I, why doesn't Ampharos learn Thunderbolt? It's not fair, I don't understand. I mean, he does learn Thunderbolt by TM, but not by level up, and yet for some reason, Game Freak's like, oh, we, we gotta give you Electro Ball because you're a really slow sheep, so you should obviously have a move that does more damage based on how fast you are. That makes perfect sense. No, it, it really doesn't. I just, I know Poke Logic, you know, that's that's a whole thing, and it's not supposed to make, where are we supposed to, why did we, why did we even, why, why did we even come back here? I don't, I, I feel like I'm, I almost feel like I'm doing something wrong, but, oh, so I was, I don't even think I needed, never mind, I wasn't supposed to go that way either. I have no clue where I'm supposed to go right now, and isn't, isn't it just magical when you're lost? See, the real challenge isn't Skyla. The real challenge is just trying to find Skyla because she hides really, really, really well. She just, you know, I, I like playing hide and seek. Oh my god, she is the master at this. Oh, oh, I can shoot. I got it. Okay, so I didn't need to go face that guy. He just, I feel like that's like blackmail and that he tricked me. And I don't really appreciate that. I feel like I could, I could file some kind of suit against him for like miss product placement that, that should be a thing right oh i really want hp but i mean what can what can a freaking jump bluff do although i just did mention earlier i had a jump bluff like the very first time i i came through this that's that's oh god you say that could that might do a little bit more oh no 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 don't kill it don't kill the idea don't kill the idea don't kill it no no That's honestly quite a bit disappointing. I don't. I love Lydia, man. He's so cool. Like in the in the top six Johto video I did earlier today, which you guys can should totally go watch if you haven't already. It's totally cheap play, like cheap plug right there. Top six favorite Johto Pokemon. But Dian may or may not be on that list. I'm not gonna spoil it, but you should go watch it either way because yeah. You guys, you you know you you know you want to. I know I know you want to. We both. I don't remember if Noctaw was psychic in this hack, so I didn't want to risk going for Shadow Ball because he might still be normal. And I didn't I didn't want to make a fool out of myself, which I often do anyways. And I don't need to battle other Pokemon to make a fool out of myself. If I'm gonna make a fool out of myself, I'm just gonna do it on my own, okay? That's just this is gonna be a thing. Uh, when I was grinding, Porygon actually wanted to learn Tri Attack, but I couldn't figure out like which I I used Ice Beam, that was an excellent. I couldn't figure out which move would be the best to get rid of for Tri Attack. Because, like, I have really good coverage right now, so apparently I just figured, like, giving up none of them would be the best option. Was that the best option? Probably not. Probably, uh, what did you just do? You, okay, you just, like, popped in Spore or whatever. I don't care about that. I think, I think, is that the last one before Skyla? Might, no, I'm just, I think we have one more. Where's, let's use some Super Potions. We don't need to waste our Hyper Potions yet. Gotta save those for the big boys. Everybody nice with a super potion. Um, do we have one more trainer, or is, is, is this? I think this is. I think this is that. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not it. Man, you're so close. And <gasps> Dusty, you're not allowed to go outside. Get back here. Sorry, I. My new cat uh, that you guys met yesterday, and you know, stuck his ass in my face. Uh, he's not allowed to go outside. I, I don't remember if I mentioned this. I actually, might have mentioned this yesterday. So, well, in that case, just ignore everything I'm saying. 
But yeah, he's not allowed to go outside because I don't want him to get lost. And he was like about to go outside. So I, I just had to like, oh my god, Afro, stop being so high level. I gotta, why is Afro in the lead? I gotta stop using him. Um, let's, let's give, oh, you're a fighting type in this hack. Ah, this, is, this might have been a bad idea. Yep, you're a fighting type in this hack. Why didn't I just switch out when I realized that? Why why did I learn that he's a fighting type and just think, oh, I'll, it'll be fine to keep it, man. Nothing will happen. Yeah, that was... It, obviously, something's gonna happen if you, like, put in an ice type against a fighting type. Probably not gonna go too well. Although, fighting... flying type is... That's such a good combination. I think it took him until, like, Gen 6 with Halucha to finally make one of those, and... It's okay. It's okay. Just, 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 just one more attack. Just one more PP. Just gotta slap him with your PP and he'll die. That's how. That's how all Pokemon works. So, all right. I, I'm almost positive this. This is the last battle. We're gonna. We're gonna be. Ah, you bitch. We're gonna. We're gonna face Skyla after this one. And the preparation is over, guys. The hype is about to end. This could very well be. You're gonna. I think you get close combat in this hack too. So I'm definitely. Man, if I would have sent out Tyranitar against Farfetch'd and he would have died, probably would have been a really ugly sight. I'm just, I'm going to warn you of that right now. It would would not have gone over... I just want to get to face Skyla and we got to face these stupid Pidgeots who are just, just don't... Alright, well I'm assuming you don't have close combat because you're being a really close bitch. And that's what you get. That's this is what this is when I really wish I still had Bolt Punch. And now you have a Okay, so you have Tailwind, Roost, Agility. I'm assuming Brave Bird. And we got the attack boost, which is actually pretty cool. So now's the point where I have to start focusing on my strategy for what Pokemon am I gonna lead with Skyla and what positions are they gonna be. Um Her her Braviary not having superpower is definitely pretty big, because I can lead with Tyranitar and try setting up with some dragon dances. Oh, I just face back that wall. That must have hurt. All right, so here we go. Uh, we gotta definitely hand out some potions after that last battle. Um, some of our Pokemon didn't didn't take some of that stuff too well. Um, okay, so I'm thinking Shelly. I'm, oh, I'm still on the potion screen. This is this is the battle, guys. Shelly, I'm thinking can be in the first spot. Um, Blender can be in the middle, and Skittles can be pulling the third slot. Since there's no fighting type moves to worry with right off the bat. Um, now which one, okay, so since Porygon's in the middle and has Ice Beam, wherever Gliscor comes in won't be a problem. And Porygon has Thunderbolt, so that covers Swan as well. Alright guys, this is, this is where the Redemption Lock, the Redemption Egg Lock it comes to an end. Either I win this battle, and I win Blaze Black, because this is obviously where the Nuzlocke ends. Or I lose once again to Skyla, who is, for the record, probably the hottest gym leader in Pokemon. Just saying. Although, she gives, she gives Flannery a run for her money, I'll say that much. Okay. Here we go. What are we tracing? We are tracing Defiance. Probably, I don't think that's the best ability to be tracing, but... Let's go for Dragon Dance, and see what they're going to be doing. Um, well, you gotta, I gotta hope I can take a steal lane from Skarmory, which I'm assuming I can, because I don't think Skarmory is that high of attack. Um, or me and, me and Pillow Swine can just gang up on Skarmory right off the bat. Wait, who did we just Ice Beam? Did we, did we pick who we Ice Beam? Oh, no, Thunderbolting Skarmory, and let's go for Icicle Crash on... I want to think Mandibuzz is like a Tailwind user, and that could potentially cause some problems. But Mammoth Swine is definitely going to be slower than, than anyways. I just, I need to get rid of that Skarmory. So, Torment. Oh, I was going to say, just don't be on. If they would have used Torment, or, um, no, actually, if they would have used Taunt on, on What's-His-Face, what did you just use? You used Attack and Defense. Okay, you're using Bulk Up. That's not good. How much does Icicle Crash can do? Who are you attacking? Who are, oh, come on, T-Tar, T-Tar, T-Tar. Oh, you took that well. Okay, you took it pretty well. Okay, so far, so good. We got the Dragon Dance up, so we're 
Uh, she didn't go for Tailwind, which I'm very glad of. Please kill Skarmory. Please, 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 please. Yes! Yes! Scarburn down. Okay. We got this. We can do this. Archaeops is up next. Um, Rock Slide. How many? Rock Slide will hit both of them. I don't know. Should I go for another Dragon Dance? <gasps> Archaeops might have Earthquake. Oh, crap. Okay, just gotta go. Gotta get rid of that Archaeops right now. That is my new main priority, is taking out Archaeops. Oh, you... Alright, let's go for Ice Shard on Archaeops. Okay. Please, 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 please. Archaeops, don't go for Earthquake. 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 Motherfucker. Ooh, wait, what? Shelly? You just... What? You take that earthquake! Oh my god! <laughs> that did nothing! <sighs> what? I'm so confused right now, I don't understand! Like, literally my brain just kind of shattered into like 12 pieces! And... Oh, I wasn't even looking at the screen because I didn't want to see, but... It's working. Oh my god. Glyscore's in the middle. That's perfect because I could, um... Ice Shard Glyscore. There's Swana. Uh, although my... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna switch T-Tar out because... Because of Tailwind, I think they'll still have speed and they'll probably go for Surf. So... Let's bring in Quarty to replace T-Tar. Let's go for the Thunderbolt on Swana. And Icicle Crash on Glyscore. Oh my god. This is... This is going so much better than I expected. I really, I need to stop talking, because Brian, oh, I predicted, I thought she'd have Surf, but Brian works too. Whoa, wait, Earthquake, oh. Gordy, 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 okay, okay, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 stop that, stop, 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 stop. Okay, that's all, the, that's it for their attack, so we survived this turn. Isle Crashes should kill Glyscore. Thunderbolt is gonna- I think Thunderbolt will kill Swana. I know it has a Citrus Berry and not one of those stupid electric- If it had one of those electric weakening berries, I probably would have just cried. Um, okay, Shelly's leveling up. That's- okay, Thunderbolt, is it gonna kill? 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 You guys have no idea how good this feels right now. How- how happy I am right now to be doing this. I mean, to be fair, like, looking back, I did get, um, to her last Pokemon, or to her last two Pokemon using, like, a, just a Gold Duck, so I guess I shouldn't be, like, that surprised. Torment's still up? Are we, are we going through this battle that fast? I guess I shouldn't be that surprised that we're doing good, you know, with, like, a full, well-developed team and strategy and everything, but... Oh, I was going to say, I forgot to heal up Cordy. Oh my god, if he would have Brave Bird Cordy and killed Cordy, I would have been so upset. Uh, I almost made like a really bad mistake there, but... <sighs> this has just been... We beat Skyla. I've done it. I've redeemed my first Blaze Black Nuzlocke. Without losing anybody, just like End. <sighs> so exciting, and everything else from this point on, is going to be a new experience for me, because I don't think I've ever played Blaze Black before, uh, just on my own. I might have, but if I have, it's been like at least over a year ago, so I don't remember anything. But, yeah, now Bryce, or whatever his name is, Ice Gym Leader, uh, Drayden, the Elite Four, it's all going to be one tough challenge that more than likely I'm not going to beat. But we got Acrobatics, which is actually a pretty good move, which I don't think I could teach to anybody at the moment. But, but we did it. We beat Skyla. The redemption lock has come to an end, and the Blaze Black Egg Lock can now resume next time. Thank you guys for watching. Until then, well, next time we'll be going to Twist Mountain and get in Twist Day. We'll play Twister, Strip Twister. It's gonna be awesome. Not really. No, that would be that'd be quite disturbing because a lot of you are underage, and I should probably stop talking now before I accidentally go to jail again. So.